After a solid rally yesterday, we were pulling back today. People were very optimistic yesterday. Remdesivir drug, we could possibly get back outside, have a treatment for coronavirus, not have massive worries. What's happening here? Why are we pulling back after such incredible news? It starts with yesterday. And it starts after the drug. It starts in the morning even, too. It's a whole lot went on yesterday. We opened up aggressively high. The drug came out. We saw a little bit of a bump, saw a little bit of a pullback because we were already pretty high. And then towards the end of the day, we just kept climbing and climbing and climbing and climbing. It was a little too aggressive, if you ask me. It seemed like people were just reaching, just trying to get their hands on some stock, need to add some stock to the portfolio towards the end of the day. It's probably a combination of two things. One, fear of missing out. Two, short covering. After that remdesivir drug came out, after states started opening, anyone who was short realized we were not gonna retest the lows. And that was a big saying that was going around. I was never a big retest the lows guy, I was a flattening guy, getting close to fair value, and we'll get back to my CRISPR position at fair value towards the end of this video. But it seemed like people were just trying to reach and get some stock, because I need to get some stock. And then today, I was, there was no more reaching. Everyone did that yesterday when the emotions were flying high. And we had a little bit of a pullback. You know, we pulled back aggressively in the morning and then we kind of rebounded a little bit towards the end of the day, kind of started to flatten out a little bit, but not really, you know. And then Amazon came out and pretty good earnings relatively. I didn't see any problems with them. I didn't see any problems with Twitter either. I thought Twitter was great, but... Coronavirus is throwing a monkey wrench into things and they are investing heavily. They are making sure that they can address shipping issues, which are a little bit more difficult under these situations. But at the end of the day, companies produce products. Amazon's product is logistics. Lots of other products that they don't make, just easy access, Amazon Prime, those things. So if they create a good product, people are gonna want the product. At the end of the day, if you ask me, I put some emphasis on earnings. You know, I gotta know that my company is making money and if they're not making money, that they're at least on a path to make money like Uber or something. But this is not changing of the business for Amazon. And if you ask me, I almost like it. I like that they're finding where their problems are, that they can't handle the heavy load of massive increases in shipments right now. So that they're spending all of their profitability, all the money they're getting, $4 billion, whatever it is, on investing back into the business and making it an even stronger business and an even stronger product. So I'm not an Amazon shareholder. It's a little too expensive for me and I like Walmart, but I like what they're doing. They're reinvesting into the business. And if you ask me, that's the right thing to do for a CEO. And at the end of the day, Jeff Bezos' entire net worth is tied up to that stock. So you can rest assured he's doing what's best for that stock. So that's kind of how I'm feeling about the market right now. Um, felt like yesterday we were reaching for stuff. And I think you're going to get a lot of value in understanding the market when I get into CRISPR, which is probably my favorite stock on the market. So they reported earnings recently. And they had a little bit of a pullback yesterday, a little bit of a heavy pullback today. You know, yesterday the market was rallying hard. Today, it seemed like people were trying to be a little more logical. Today was a very logical day, if you ask me. And CRISPR pulled back hard, down 5%. So I've been getting a lot of texts. What's up with CRISPR? Do I buy more? Do I sell? You know, what do you, what do you think of the report? What I think of the report is I think the stock is at fair value. I think a lot of the market is at fair value. There's a reason why I've wanted the market to flatten out. This economic damage that's been happening, and we're close to the all-time highs. So I don't think we should go up in most categories. Um, so I think we're at fair value in the market, and I do think that happens with CRISPR too. So CRISPR isn't making money right now. They're making like $200,000 a quarter. <laughs> doesn't, doesn't count for anything. They have $800 million in cash. They have $800 million that they can get in cash by hitting certain milestones in the development of their technology. They're spending $70 million a quarter on general business expenses, having the best scientists in the world, some of which, and going through their human trials. It's a very big, intensive process. They gotta actually perform the CRISPR technology on human beings. We're approved for that, it's fantastic. But at the end of the day, the company's got its cash, it's got incentivized cash so they can get more cash by hitting milestones, and they're just gonna focus, like Amazon, on developing the product and developing the technology. People, stocks are more than just stocks.
These are companies. These are assets. These are people, human capital, financial capital, going to work to make a better world and a better future. So let's focus on that. People are shitting on Amazon right now. Stock's down 5%. Why? Because they got to reinvest in having better shipping. <laughs> it's, it's, it, there's a little bit of a, you know, displacement between people looking at companies on paper and what the companies actually are. The companies are almost like micro nations, you know? They provide things, they do things, they're groups of people striving towards a mission to create something. So CRISPR is that. CRISPR, I think, is at fair value, you know, $3 billion about. They don't make money, but they have proprietary technology and it's a group of the best scientists in the world. They've got $800 million on the balance sheet in cash. They've got $800 million in cash that they can get. They've got the people, the human capital, and they've got the technology. $3 billion, fair market cap. Now, if it's fair, that's not good. It's not good. It's literally not good. So do I buy it? Well, here's what I've been telling people. I just got a text from this from a friend of mine. Do I buy CRISPR? You buy CRISPR if you don't have a full position yet. If you're light on the stock, if you don't have a full position, you buy CRISPR. What do I think is a full, posi full position? Somewhere in the 10 to 20% of your portfolio allocation should be to a stock like CRISPR. Now that's obviously up to you. What you define as a full position, what you wanna allocate to CRISPR, if you're under that preferred allocation for that kind of product, that, prefer that sort of risk tolerance that you have, if you're under that, it's fair value. There's nothing wrong with adding to that position. But if you are at a full position, which I'm at a full position, which the person who texted me is at a full position, there's no reason to add. You know, you've got a full position. Don't, don't overweight unnecessarily. You know, every stock has risk. I'm not saying that I, I view CRISPR as a really risky stock. I don't really think it's a risky stock. The technology works. We're just kind of pushing it forward into humans. It's worked in animals. And it's a, it's a platform. It's not a drug. It's not like any of these other pharmaceutical companies where they make a drug, got to go through FDA clearances and everything. This is a fundamental technology that has proven to work that we need to just learn, for example, what genes lead to blue eyes, what genes lead to brown eyes. And then we can just edit it with the technology CRISPR that we already have. So that's kind of what, where we're at with this whole f system of CRISPR technology. So... If you're light on the position, add to the position, realize that companies are more than just numbers on a piece of paper, that they're actual companies and are here for the long run and exist beyond a quarter. They exist beyond a quarter. Now, I'm not, I'm not roasting anybody's quarter, you know? I think every, every move that has been justified or has happened is somewhat justified. So I think companies deserve to move on earnings reports. They should move on earnings reports, but keep in mind that companies are actual entities that make products and focus on the products, not so much the earnings. So if Amazon is reinvesting all that cash to cover for the fact that shipping is a little bit more difficult during COVID-19, realize that now they're gonna have the best shipping system and logistics possible, which is their product, which is gonna be better after this stress test by COVID-19. So until tomorrow, peace.